All right, Josh Smith here again at the All Guitar Network with some more tips and tricks. Let's talk about really what the difference is practically between single coil guitars and humbucker guitars. So let's just come out and say Fender and Gibson guitars. What are we really talking about and why do guys gravitate to certain things for certain styles of music over others? Uh, for me personally, I've always gravitated towards Fender guitars. There's a lot of reasons for this. The main one for me is twofold, single coil pickups. Now single coil pickups are obviously less output than a humbucker. They're noisy, they have you know compromises involved, but they're also incredibly dynamic and clear. Uh, they're brighter than humbuckers. They don't have the amount of signal or gain. They don't have the amount of compression, but they have clarity. And that's what I strive for. Now the other main factor and difference between Fender and Gibsons that kind of adds up to the clarity aspect is Fenders are 25 and a half inches long. So that's the scale length of a guitar. That means from right here where the strings come out to right here, the neck is 25 and a half inches from bridge to nut. Now, the longer the neck, the more tension there is in the string, which means the more clarity you will have. So the shorter the neck, the looser the string feels, the less clarity you have. When you combine a shorter scale like a Gibson, which is 24.625 inches, with humbuckers, which has more gain, more compression, less clarity, you're gonna get a guitar that sustains a lot more and has more oomph and more fatness, but doesn't have the dynamic range and clarity of a longer neck guitar with single coil pickups. So let's hear the difference. I've turned the amp up, cranked it up so we can get some distortion. And here's what a Strat sounds like, single coils. And then we'll hear the exact same setting with humbuckers. <laughs> pushing, you can still get clarity with this guitar. Now let's check out a humbucker guitar. Now as I said, Gibson has a shorter scale length, so that means the strings are going to feel slinkier and I can overbend the heck out of them. I probably just put it way out of tune just then. Also my vibrato will get wider on a, on a shorter scale guitar instead of a smoother one that I'm used to with a longer scale. And then of course you get more gain. The amp's on the same setting. Did knock it out of tune. You can hear now it's fuzzing out and really farting the amp out and compressing like crazy because these pickups have so much more output. <laughs> That's a great sound. I mean, there's a reason guys use this guitar for... Doesn't clean up like the Strat does. so muscular. This is a sound. Here's the neck pickup. It'll be real dark. That's the woman tone. It's not actually. This is the woman tone. The tone rolled down. Thank you. 
difference in sound. Now, of course, there's materials here. This is a mahogany guitar. That's an older guitar, you know, so things are totally different. But the biggest difference is the pickups and the scale length. And you start to learn that you use a certain guitar for a certain sound. And you also start to find what you enjoy and what feels comfortable. But, you know, I pick up this guitar and it automatically, automatically puts my head in a certain headspace. And it's the right guitar in my mind for this and this and this. And that guitar is the right guitar for blah, 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 and blah, X and Y and Z. So, you know, those are the, the main differences, though. Start to really check out what scale length does and what single coil versus humbucker does. And you'll be amazed and even those little differences, once you understand that, it'll put you in the right headspace for kind of really knowing what these guitars can do. <laughs>